All right, in this section, we're gonna cover single man counters, specifically leaders, and how they operate in this system. Very quickly, the stats on a leader counter, the top right is their morale number, the middle number is their leadership value, and the bottom right number is their movement factor. Now, leaders can take in effect many different things, and that's why they're some of your most important counters on the battlefield. They can affect direct fire, damage checks, rally attempts, and they can even help with melee and close assaults. But only one leader per hex can take and affect something like that. So you can't stack a couple of leaders in a hex and have them both stacking their leadership modifier to a direct fire result. Now, all leaders have what's called their leadership range, which is one when they're in good order or zero when they're wounded. And this is for activation purposes. So our leader here with the two German squads, his leadership range is one, so he can activate the units in his hex specifically and the leg units surrounding him. So he could activate these two squads and this other German squad on his activation. He could not, however, activate the Stug as well because the Stug is a vehicle and you're going to need an armor leader for that specific type purpose. So just like he can't activate the Stug, an armor leader could not activate the leg units. Now, this is not going to be used for rally attempts. So if this leg unit here, the squad were shaken, he is, his leadership range would not be allowed to be used to make a rally attempt. That's only gonna be able to be conducted with the units that are specifically in his hex. Now, leaders can take and aid all attacks by units in their hex with the same infantry badge. Infantry badge being the symbol in the top left of the counter, like the German cross on these units. And they can do that if they're not under a moved, low crawled, fired, or an ops complete marker. Now, they're going to add their leadership modifier to either the direct fire table roll, or they're going to subtract it from an ordnance fire to hit roll. Now, it's every attack, not every attacking unit. So our two German squads here making an attack, they would total their firepower and add the leadership modifier to it you would not add the leadership modifier to each specific unit. Now, that's going to work as far as support weapons are concerned as well. So if we add a support, uh, support weapon for each German squad here, you would total the firepower for a direct fire attempt and add the leadership modifier. And then you could also subtract that leadership modifier from the ordnance to hit roll. Afterwards, he would be placed under a fired marker just like the rest of the units. Now, they can only do one thing per friendly impulse. And what I mean by that is they can take and lead their troops, like in this example, or call in off-board or on-board artillery, or fire their own support weapon, but they can't do those things in combination. Like I said previously, they can aid in melee. Watch my melee specific videos to understand how that's gonna work. And some scenarios are gonna have leaders start with a specific skill. It's gonna be listed out as I have on screen for you now with the name slash whatever skill it is. Make sure you look at the player aid skill uh, table to know what skill counter to grab and what skill is going to be applicable to them. 